I think it's fabulous. I've, I've only obviously been there twice, and I, I'd like to see it more, actually. Right. Usually I don't get to actually see the town, the city, but um, people seem very friendly. They like my music, so of course I'm very happy. So, yes, yeah, it's been great. I've seen so far. Thank you. You have uh, worked in the best uh, world class. Uh, what do you expect from uh, this concert in Ukraine in the European club? Um, I expect everyone to have a really good time. I'm not asking a lot, I know, but I like it when everyone's having a good time, singing along to the words, and I'm it's sharing that energy with them. That's what I'm expecting to like. <laughs> Maybe you taste uh, some Ukrainian cars, and uh, did you like something from Ukrainian cars? You mean the kitchen? Yeah, from Ukrainian. Um, I've always, I mean, I've always, I love um, Ukrainian borscht. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's true, I love it, you know. Um, and I don't really eat beef, so that's saying something. So, yeah, I do like that. And um, I do think you guys are very particular about the food that you have here. The food is very high quality. So, yeah, keep up the great work. <laughs> Uh, tell me please, uh, your last um, album, uh, One Man, A Woman, uh, what is your favourite composition, maybe favourite track from this album? Mm. Oh dear. Uh, I suppose it would have to be my brain face, mm -hmm. because it shows me in a different light. Everybody knows me in sort of dance fever, some watch out, weekend, but they don't, what people don't realise is that I can actually do the power ballads, like the, you know, the top sort of American singers as well. I just don't, I just tend to do more dance music because that's what people tend to watch. So I think I love my brain because it's the only ballad on that album and it shows that I can sing ballads as well as sing up and up and up. Uh, you worked with many stars, who all stars, so what are your impressions and uh, what is uh, your favourite star? Singer or? Um, it's very hard to say because they've all got fantastic, there's all something about each of them that I've learned from and I've taken from. For example, um, the late James Brown was incredibly professional. What you would probably expect for a legend, you know. Very, very, you know, you had to call him Mr. Brown, you know, he was so strict about the rhythm, the band had to be, you know, totally tight. Everything had to be in its place and, you know, it was just, it was, it was fantastic to work for, but it was very scary at the same time. And then you work with people like Lisa Canfield, who wrote his songs, and really nice to work with, very funny. Um, but I mean, them, you know, all of them have added something to me, you give me something, and I think, if I'm, I think it's professional, so what I've learned from phenomenal stuff. Maybe you write music by yourself or no? I do, yeah. I do on my own. I, I tend to write with my husband mainly. Um, we're both published writers. And um, I mean, I was sitting there thinking about it the other day actually. My repertoire is actually ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't realise I've been involved in so many different tracks, right from JX right through to what we're doing now, nothing better. There's quite a lot there, so yeah. So keep busy. <laughs> Uh, tell us about your book. Uh, you wrote a book, yeah? I'm not wrote it. I haven't written it yet. I'm in the process of writing it. Mm -hmm. And it's called, um, I don't want to give too much away, but it's Diary of a Wannabe. It's a title. Um, I don't know if you know what wannabe is. Wannabe is... Most people are wannabes. Most people want to be famous or rich and successful. They want to be on telly. They want to be whatever, actors or whatever. Um, and this is a story, a diary of someone who's trying to be this person and her three friends. But it's only in prose. Sorry? It's only in prose, this book, yeah? Yeah, and it, it's, yeah, it's not written yet. I've only written sort of a quarter of it. So I'm, I'm in the process of doing it. I'm not working, well, I'm not doing the gigs. <laughs> Tell us about your future plans. Um, global, global domination. <laughs> That's the next step. <laughs> it's gotta be. Um, yeah, I mean, um, I'm having, enjoying great success in these territories in Ukraine, Moldova, in Russia, um, in Poland. Um, I basically want the same level of success all over the world. That's, that's my goal. <laughs> Sparky much, I know, but hey. <laughs> and what do you want to wish Ukrainian listeners, your fans, maybe? Um, watch this space because I'm compiling an app, an app 
which you can download, which will keep all my fans connected with me and they can know exactly what I'm doing on, on Twitter, Facebook, my YouTube picture uh, thing. So I'll, if they want to know what's going on with me, it's coming very shortly and they'll be able to download it for free. Thank you. Uh, can you say some words exactly to the camera, like uh, to wish something? Here? Hello! <laughs> Hello Ukraine, it's great to be back in Kiev again. It's been a long time, I've been waiting for my invite, but I'm very ha glad to be back again. Uh, we're going to have a fantastic show tonight, so you better be ready, you better get your dancing shoes on and ready to party tonight, because we are going to party like it's your birthday. I'll see you later. I'm Shanna, bye! <laughs> <laughs>